after killing one of two players, I could have healed first, and then I threw this nade to try to bait out where his location is. And then I almost messed that up because I did a left hand peek and I almost died because of it. So I did another mistake by trying to push him even though I was badly hurt. And even though I had an extra nade in my pockets, I still decided to push him. And I'm dead. But it's okay, we learn from our mistakes. The actual fruits of the strawberry are what people think are the seeds on the outside of the, of the uh, receptacle. These little, the little dots, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the little dots? People think those are seeds, those are actually fruit. Each one of those are fruits. They're called akins. Bananas are berries. Oranges and lemons are berries. Cantaloupes are berries. Watermelons are berry. What in the hell? <laughs> Tomatoes are berry. So in this raid, I'm doing a quest from Ragman called Eat It Ace Part 1, where I turn in all the cargo manifests. I actually didn't know where the item was, so I was just walking around while looking at Map Genie on my second screen. Then I decided to open a PC block, and then it all just went downhill from there. Fuck! Since I haven't completed farming part 1 from mechanic where you need 3 GPUs and 15 CPU fans, all found in raid. So this was pretty big for me. After picking up the GPU, all I wanted was just to extract right away. And I forgot to pick up the item for the quest that I, that I came for. Thing, I broke both of my legs and I needed a splint to fix them and even though I had I was completely oh tunnel vision and just ran around with a broken leg and making a lot of noise. Does he not have splints? Most raids need 7 minutes of in-game time so you don't get a run through and losing the found and raid status of found items. some loot. Alright, we take the swims. So because I found the GPU last raid, I kind of forgot to turn in the quest. So here I am doing the same shit over again. I didn't have an ideal spawn so I made my way to Ollie. And then I found out that there were other players there already before me, so I had to take it slow. Yeah. Alright, so lesson time. So instead of healing, I decided to push him even though I was badly hurt, I was limping, and I didn't have any painkillers on me. And that's when I really messed up. <sighs> <sighs> oh, who's that, big boys? I should not have pushed it. But I got the spawn right. Oh, right, right, right. I suck at this game. So after dying to the duo again, I had to jump into another raid. 
I did this so I can complete this quest and open up the rest of Ragman's quest line. Another lesson time. So before you get into any raid, make sure that your magazines are in your guns and not in your pockets. Slow Zeely! Plata! My general map knowledge of interchange is ass. So while running towards the ramp, I was looking for generic where I needed to put three gold chains for the coming quest of Skier. And by then, my anxiety was all over the place since I'm aware enough that this area is a PvP zone and that Killa could be waiting for me at any corner. So while I was placing the gold chains, I was looking at the map for an exit since I had no idea where I was. While figuring a way to Ollie, luckily I found another GPU. I made sure not to get tilted this time around and complete my quest. Nice. Always remember this spot in Oli because this is the stank rat spot. Stank rat spot BB. I was able to finish the database part 1 quest while doing the chumming quest without any distractions. So I was finally able to turn in the quest and finish a few succeeding quests without going into raid. Enjoy the best audio in Tarkov and thank you for watching. Hmm, a 
slick that I'm never gonna wear. 